<laughs> Thank you. Welcome back to Dinner, Artie. I'm Artie Croftson. And I'm Jake Dinner. We're going to check in on that souffle in just a few minutes, but first, we have a special treat. A very special treat. Joining us in the kitchen today is a man who's been nominated for an Oscar, named People's Sexiest Man Alive, and most recently, photographed slumped over inside a phone booth at two in the afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nick Nolte. Thanks for having me on. You guys got a jackknife a fella could borrow. Uh, I'm afraid I, I don't, but uh, Mr. Nolte, let me just say it is a thrill to have you here on the show today. I'm happy to be here. I had some high lie bets go sour down in GJ. I had to get back to stateside pretty quick. Is that pot real copper? High lie bets in Tijuana? That sounds fascinating. Did you get to sample any regional cuisine while you were down there? There's no time to eat when you're lying in ditch. Praying the only thing federales shoot is your mule. Hmm. Uh, uh, care to elaborate on that? <laughs> well, <laughs> Mr. Nolte, as a cooking show, we were hoping you could share a recipe with our audience today. Uh, maybe something you've enjoyed in your time as a Hollywood A-lister? I know that. I know that. Look like a two-penny rube to you. We'll make up some oysters. Uh-oh. Oysters? Did someone say aphrodisiac? <laughs> Woohoo! All right. What do you have planned later on, Mr. Nolte? Got a score to settle with a man down at the switch yard. Oh. Uh, well, mm. well, I love oysters. Uh, how do you want to prepare them today? A Rockefeller? Maybe a stew? On the half shell? I'll eat two dozen. <laughs> I, I mean it. I'll do it. I've seen him. No, these ain't no fancy Rockefeller oysters. Now we can roast these boys. Oh. Now, where you got your uh, your junk car hoods at? Uh, oh, are, are those the oysters in that in that dripping sack? Of course, those are the oysters. The hell else would? Hang on, let me check. Uh, yeah, they're oysters. Where's the junk car hood? Uh, a junk car hood. I I don't follow, Mr. Nolte. We have a professional six-burner range right over in the... Now country. we're roasting oysters here, not prepping a big city Brunswick stew. Okay, okay, calm down. Uh, I'm afraid our kitchen studio does not have a junk car hood for roasting things on. So, uh, you're a roof panel man? I seen your type. la dee da Probably I'll sweet your hard tack with a knife and a fork. I'm afraid we also don't have any roofing panels available for roasting oysters... Or anything else, son. Should we put your sack in the fridge, maybe? You listen now. Nobody but Nick touches my gunny sack. You two wait here. I drug a car hood into your green room, caught some winks out on it earlier this afternoon. Hey, any deputy show up, I, I ain't here. No, M Mr. Nolte, we have a fully capable... Well, folks, he's gone to... To retrieve a car hood, evidently. I suppose we could check in on the souffle and... Who the hell roasts oysters on a car hood? It doesn't appear well, Jake. <sighs> Hold your damn horses. I'll be right there. Uh, give me a hand there, Skipper. This thing's unwieldy. Uh, no problem. Where did you... <clears throat> Where did you get this from, Mr. Nolte? You gotta know how to bargain. And when a bargain ain't gonna cut it, that's when you gotta cut it. You're not implying that you killed a man for this rusty car hood, are you? Now, high tops, you get a fire going. We're going to spread these oysters out real nice like on the hood, you see? Does the does the side with the flaking paint go up or down? No, it, it, it don't matter. It don't matter. Well, surely there's chemicals in that stuff that would... <laughs> uh, okay, okay, guess we're going paint side down already. Let's, let's get that vent fan going. Mm -hmm. Now, will I lay him out? Trousers, you start covering them with a gunny sack. Am I trousers? I think so. But we're both wearing... Just do it! So, a gunny sack? I don't think I've ever seen a gunny sack used in cooking. Or a gunny sack, for that matter. Man without a gunny sack ain't hardly no man at all. Uh, any specific tips about brands of gunny sacks? Uh, where does one get a gunny sack? What makes a sack gunny? Only thing you two Charlies need to know is this. You soak your gunny sack before you cover up the oysters with it. Okay, you folks at home take note of that. When you're roasting oysters for your dinner party, soak your 
gunny sack in water. Any particular length of time to soak it? You just make damn sure you soak it in the same creek water your oysters come from. Uh, I'm sorry, the same... Creek water. Creek water? The water from the creek you get the oyster from. Am I speaking oriental? Hang on, I, I, I think I get this. You should soak the gunny sack in water from the creek you get the oysters from. That's what I've been telling you, tarnation. Mr. Nolte, if I may, uh, seven days make up a... Uh, uh, a week. And uh, Plato was a famous... Uh, uh, Greek. And you soak this gunny sack in water from a... From a, from a creek. I don't think we need to provoke our guest, Artie. Okay. Now, now, Mr. Nolte, uh, oysters can be a tricky thing to buy, lots of regional differences and varied flavors. How do you recommend our guests pick out a good batch? <laughs> well, uh, uh, I'll tell you this. You, <clears throat> you wait for a moonless night. You get a pair of wire cutters. You got a pair of wire cutters, and then you wait for the ranger station to buckle down for the night. Then you trim yourself a nice old hole in that state park fence, and you shuffle down to the shoreline. Mm, hang on a second. Mr. Nolte, this sounds now like... after you get down there, you're going to have to hustle. Just start loading up your gunny sack with the oysters the tide left behind. Just start loading it up. You're loading it up. You're loading it up. Oysters can be squirrely devils. I, I lost a finger to one just last night. But dear God, sir, you are still a working actor. But as soon as you hear the hounds barking... You start running, and you pray you don't hear shots ring out, and you, you listen to this, you listen to this, both of you. You never, you never leave your gunny sack behind. You poached these oysters from a state wildlife refuge? You're going to want to flip those ones over near the Firebird logo there. Well, this has been a very informative segment with Nick Nolte. When we get back, we'll sample our souffle, these oysters and probably reevaluate our guest screening policy. Now, once you're done with the shells, listen up here, you can grind them down and trade the powder for frogs in Chinatown. You're living out.